fractions and decimals and changing them back and forth. Because first of all, you've done this. This is not a new skill. Yes. These lessons have been mostly just for the mm -hmm. Because TCAP is coming. And usually by this time of year, we have done review, reviews, reviews. But after, after spring break, but because we're out so, you know, we've been out so much, we've got to keep on moving. So, we are going to talk about how to change or how to compare fractions to decimals. One more time. I knew you did. That's why we're going back. You do, but we gotta figure, we gotta look at something real quick. Now, as Jesse said, well, Miss Skinner, I know how to change 0. 0.5 to a decimal. What is 0. 0.5 as a fraction? Five tenths. I don't know who said it, but five tenths. Now, but that's a little bit hard to compare when there's a four on the bottom and there's a ten on the bottom. So then what would we have to do if we were going to compare fractions? You would have to make the bottoms the same. You would have to find a common denominator. So what would be the common denominator of 4 and 10? 20. 20. 20 would be the common denominator. You could do 40, but 20 is your smallest, right? It's your least common denominator. It's your least common denominator. Good job, Rach. <laughs> now, so the question is, if I've changed my bottoms, what have I got to do to the top? Change it. Change them. Well, what did I do to four? To get 20. Times it by... Times it by five. I times by five. So what's five times three? Because remember, we talked about me on a swing set in second grade, and I fell in the mud puddle. I didn't change just my britches. I had to change my shirt, shirt, shirt too. Okay? So the same thing happens. So what did I do to 10 to get 20? Times by 2. So what have I got to do to 5? Times by 2. Times by 2. 10. So which 10? <laughs> so can this be easily compared? If I have 15 out of 20 pieces, or if I have 10 out of 20 pieces, who is the larger amount? Yes, sir. So three fourths is greater than five tenths. Now, some of you all will miss Jenna. Don't really want to have to find a common denominator, so watch this. So what if I give you three fourths and I give you point five? Could you make three fourths into a decimal? I could. How? You do not know. What you said? What is it? I forgot. You forgot. I forgot too. I know. What did you say? Yeah. It's, it's, of course you do. Five. You're a teacher. No, nope, we ain't even worried about that. We're only worried about three fourths. We want to take a fraction to a decimal. Times it by two. Why two? You times the top one by two because if you times two, but is that going to give okay? But if I times it by two, that's going to give me six eighths. Is there a six eighths on the top? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that's going to give me six eighths on the bottom. Is there a six eighths as a decimal? No, it's point six. It is not point six. Why are you saying point six? Because watch this. Point six would be six tenths. Right? Mm -hmm. If I wrote that as a fraction, would that not be six tenths? Yep. In that, yep. In that in the tenths place? Yep. So wouldn't that be six tenths? So if you multiply by that, you got six over eight. So eight can just change to a ten? Nope. No? So no, that's not gonna work. Don't you add or something? Nope. 
and still be greater. Now, another thing, guys. I could change them all to common denominators to compare fractions. I could divide. What else, what else could I do to this? What else could I do without having to divide that? And it, happens, it works for some, but not all of them. By what? Talk to me. What places are there behind a decimal? Tens. Tens. Hundreds. Hundreds. Thousands. 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 Ten thousands. Ten thousands. So all powers of ten. Well, let me ask you something. Can I get this to be a ten? No. Can I get it to be a hundred? No. Yeah, but what? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. If I multiply this by 25, I get 100 on bottom. So what do I have to do to 3? Change them to 20. Multiply, multiply by 25. 25. What is 3 times 25? Uh, 75. Oh. Can you tell me what that is as a decimal? What? That's right. 75. Hundreds or point seventy five. Who is greater? Three four. Do we remember any of this? No. That's think of three fours. Quarters. Think of quarters. Think of quarters to take to make a dollar. Four. Four. So three quarters has to be what? Seventy five. Seventy five. Seventy five. Oh no! Seventy five cents for a hundred. Okay. Here's another one. Wow. 75%. Here's another one. Okay, here's another one. I've got my own mini recliner right here. Some of you are not, don't wait on me. Try it. See what you get. I know what I got.
wrong, okay? That's that's what we're doing. We're learning. Remember ten hundreds. Remember where they go in decimals. So what if I want to make this into a decimal? What would this be as a decimal? Point one. Point one. How'd you do that? Because it says one over ten, and I knew that the number right after the decimal is tenth place. So I just put a one. There you go. So now who's who's closer? I mean, who's greater? Excuse me. Point twenty. Now, what if I wanted to make? What if I wanted to make it? What if I wanted to make twenty-five into a fraction? What is 25.25 as a fraction? 25 over 100. That's it, Elena. Smart girl. 25 over 100 because it's in the hundreds place. Yep. Tenths, hundreds. So if I'm comparing that to 1 over 10, well, the bottoms aren't the same. So I could find a common denominator. What would it be? 100. How do I make this a 100? Times it by 10. Times it by 10, which just means add zeros. Add one zero to both. So, point 25 is still greater. And you can look at the first sum if you see how it is. Too. All right. What if I give you Compare those. Try to fix it so you know for sure. Where you got? Two ways to go about it. Make about this.
I'm not saying that, but about three of them already have looked at it. So I've, most of the people that I've looked at have done common denominators. What would be my common denominator of these two? 24. 24. What did I do to three to make them 24? Times eight. Times eight. So eight times two? Six. Sixteen. What did I do to eight to get him to be a 24? Times three. So three times one? Seven is? Twenty-one. Who's greater? 21 over 24. Some of y'all are off in La La Land. Now I get it. You're going to have to show me how you got it. You're either going to have to make them be on the same denominator, or you're going to have to show me how you made them into decimals for you to get a check mark on Monday. For you to get a stamp on Monday, you're going to have to make sure your work is showing me. Because I can go through here and do this all day long. But I, that does not mean I have a clue what I'm doing. That means you're just guessing. Absolutely. That's meaning, hmm, I don't care. Now, we're going to make these into decimals also. How would I make two-thirds into a decimal? Two-thirds. What? Who? What are we doing? What do you have to do? What operation? Divide. Who goes in the house? Two. Top dog. Top dog. Because this line always means, divide. fractions always mean divide. to divide. The line always means to divide. So three goes into two? Yeah. Therefore, I have a decimal and a zero. Three goes into 20? Six times. Six times. Minus 18 leaves me? Two. Two. Three is down and then you subtract 18. So what's happening? So what does that mean you do? Put a line over the two sixes. It's a it's a math chop situation. It's a decimal that never ends. Now, how do we do seven eighths as a decimal? Divide what? Seven, eight, and seven. Who goes in the house? Top dog. Seven. Or seven. Eight. How many times will eight go into seven? Zero. Add a decimal and a zero. How many times will eight go into seventy? Six. Six times. Six. Seven. Eight times. Eight times. Eight times. Minus sixty-four. Which leaves me. Six. Six. Now what? Add a zero. Then add 54, which would be seven. Okay, okay, I did not do zero. Uh, then you have to, then you have seven times. So you put a line over those two sevens, yeah. Over just the seven? Just the seven, because I ain't did repeat. So does that still tell me it's 0 0.6 repeating and 0.87 repeating? Is that still saying that this one's larger? Yeah. I saw this the other day too. We struggled with this. No. No. Wednesday and several of us we missed it. Folks, this is an easy one. If you have to write the number down and with your pencil say 0.3 is the same. 34.34. They're both the same. 342, 340. Not the same. So who's going to be larger? That one. 
This one? No, the other one. Folks, I'm telling you, I saw several of you would have chosen this because the nine's back there. But before your nine comes a two, a zero and a two, who is greater, two or zero? Two. So therefore, yes, be careful. If you have to take your pencil and do it step by step under each one to see who's greater, do that step. So what? I had to use a little bit extra lead, Miss Skinner. Well, my gosh, if that's a problem, I got an extra pencil. And I have the water, too. Okay. All right, let's do one more. Let's do, let's do, let's do. One fourth. And point eighteen. I don't care if you make them both decimals or both fractions. Monday, I'm not giving you credit for it. You're getting an X until you show it. Number, what if we make both of them into de uh, fractions? What would this be as a fraction? 18 over 100. 18 over 100. This is the way I did it. You, this is the way you did it? Yeah. So if I have to make, now what have I got to do? Times it by 25. Oh, so I can get 4 into 100? I sure can by doing what? Times is it by 25. Times it by 25? So 1 times 25 is 25? Who's greater, 25 over 100 or 18 over 100? There's two ways you can go about doing these. Good. Good. Guys, listen to me. This is going to be 
thing all over your test. You've done it before. You're like, well, this was just a review. It is just a review, but some of you don't know it. All right. You forgot about it. Yeah, I did too. Me too. Okay. So it was a good thing I reviewed it. Anybody have a question on changing fractions to decimals and fra decimals to fractions and comparing fractions to decimals and decimals to decimals? No. Okay. Here's your assignment. Hey, hey, Jesse. What? Chips? He may get in the chips. He my boy. Jesse, hurry on, video.